See, before the commercials, I was talking about how Donald Trump this weekend attacked Senator Bob Corker, and then he attacked the fake news. Uh, but I'm, I'm kind of proud the president saved just a little complaining for us talk show hosts. It makes, it makes me feel special. <laughs> you see, over the weekend, Trump tweeted, late night hosts are dealing with the Democrats for their very unfunny and repetitive material, always anti-Trump. First of all, unfunny? <laughs> In quotes? Which means you think we're funny? In which case, I want to say thank you <laughs> for understanding oh, how quotes work. And he ended that tweet by saying, should we get equal time? I know that one. No. <laughs> That's not how this works. You're the president. We make fun of you. But we're going to do it anyway, just to make you feel better, sir. I will now be joined by another host, licensed in unfunny. And that host will offer balance to what I say about the president. Come on out, host. Okay. Uh, you will be the balance, all right? I will do my usual unfair slamming of the president, okay. and you will provide the counterweight. Ready? Here we go. Right. Okay. Uh, Donald Trump thinks we should give equal time on a comedy show, even though the election is over. Kind of like if the Big Bang Theory was immediately followed by the creationist Bozinga Fun Time Hour, <laughs> starring Jesus and his roommate, a T-Rex. <laughs> Look out for the spinoff, Young Jesus. <laughs> And, uh, be positive. <laughs> Can I have more time? Yeah, we, gotta, we gotta get going. Just say something positive. <laughs> Donald Trump. is not a cannibal. <laughs> that's your equal? John, that's, that's your equal time? Wow! That's it? That's it. OK. <clears throat> All right, I'll go again. All right. Last week, we learned that Donald Trump's own Secretary of State called him a <laughs> moron. <laughs> not only is that an insult, he gave away Trump's Secret Service code name. All right, I got this one, all right. Given the choice between having hot lava poured into my pee hole <laughs> and Donald Trump being president, <laughs> I choose lava. Positive. The latter. Good. <laughs> on Friday, on Friday. <laughs> I'm, I'm finding this hard Trump too. Oh. Yes. Oh. On Friday, Trump made it easier for employers to deny women birth control. Pretty soon, the only contraceptive women will have is his face. Oh. Uh, I got one. I'm good with this. Now, I'm in the groove now. Oh, I'm yeah. starting to feel, feel it. Donald feel it. Trump is great to women. Great? Good. Good? Better than Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> okay. okay, maybe. I'm gonna fact check that. All right. Last week, this is what the president said at a White House photo op surrounded by military leaders and their spouses. You guys know what this represents? Well, I don't know, maybe it's the coffee, but it's 
What's the storm? Could be a calm before the storm. What storm, Mr. President? You'll find out. What the f is wrong with this guy? What is wrong? What? Why would you? You'll find out. You'll find out. You'll find out. You'll a cliffhanger. Surrounded by military people, you'll find out. Ooh, will Trump give humanity the rose? <laughs> will civilization make it to the fantasy suite? And calm before the storm? Is that what he was saying? Calm before the storm? Positive. How the f Calm before the storm? How is all this not the storm? <laughs> this is all the storm. And what, what kind of a sociopath... What kind of a sociopath would use that terminology <laughs> while people are still literally cleaning up from storms? I'm sorry, it's really positive. I can't do it. I can't do it. I couldn't do it. So now... Do well, I have to be positive now? I have to be positive now? Could I have more time? No. Please? <laughs> Donald Trump... <laughs> ...is not... ...a cannibal. <laughs> Stewart, everybody!